What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over LinkedIn ads conversion tracking. I'm going to be showing you how to track a specific thank you page or any type of confirmation page on your website. And I'll also be showing you how to track a button click on your website. So we're going to get started first by tracking our thank you page. And then I will show you how to do the button click right after that. So let's first get started. If you don't have a LinkedIn campaign manager account or your LinkedIn advertising account, what you want to do is from your LinkedIn company page up on the top right corner, just click on advertise and that will open up your campaign manager. And from there you can create your new account if you don't have one already and just go through the process of creating your account. The other thing you're going to need to do for this video is you're going to need a Google tag manager account. So we're going to be using Google Tag Manager to track both of these conversions. It's going to be very easy to follow. So if you haven't created a Tag Manager account already, I will also be showing you how to install Google Tag Manager on a WordPress website. So let's get started here in our LinkedIn Campaign Manager account. We're going to open it up by clicking on our link. And then what we want to do is over here on the left hand side, you're going to see analyze. So if you don't have any campaigns yet, that's fine. You actually want to start your conversion, creating your conversion tracking before you create any campaigns. So let's go over here to analyze and you're going to see insight tag, website demographics and conversion tracking. For this example, we're just going to go directly to conversion tracking because we're going to install our insight tag at the same exact time. So you're going to see any conversions you've already created here. If you haven't created any conversions yet, then click on create conversion and we're going to choose online conversion. I'm not going to be going over any offline conversions in this video. I'm just going to be focused on website conversions. So let's click on online conversion. And the very first thing we need to do is name our conversion. So for my conversion, I'm just going to do thank you page example. And then we need to define the key conversion behavior you want to track. So what is this conversion for your business? Is somebody applying for a job, booking an appointment? These are all different examples of types of leads. You could also just choose lead here. There's also sales as you get further down here. So if this is, if you're selling a course for $300, for example, then you could do sales. You could say something like purchase and say the value of this conversion is $300. The other thing you can do is if you're just trying to track leads and you're not really worried about the value of the conversion, just set this as one and that will just count every lead as $1 for your business. And you don't have to worry about actually tracking the value of each conversion back into your LinkedIn ads account. So for this example, let's just say every new lead for my business is worth $50. So we'll just set a $50 value for this conversion. Then we can scroll down here, select the time frame for when the conversion can be counted. So clicks and views. So basically when someone clicks on your ad and somebody views your ad, how you wanna actually give credit to any of those clicks or views for a conversion. Generally, I will make this longer. I don't see any downsides making this a longer period of time, especially if you have longer times between somebody actually clicking your ad and actually becoming a lead or signing up for whatever it is that you're selling. So there's no downside really to me for extending this time period. So let's do 90 days for clicks and we'll say 30 days for views. Next, we need to select our attribution model. And the one I select is just last touch each campaign. And I just keep it as this, this one here and don't do last touch last campaign. So let's do last touch for each campaign. So we actually give the campaign that is driving the conversion, the credit for the actual conversion itself. So what we need to do next is go to our next step. So next we can select the campaigns we want to track with the conversion. So if you have an active campaign running and you want to make sure that conversion is being tracked within that campaign, then you can select that campaign here. Otherwise you don't have to select a campaign yet. And as you're creating your new campaign, you can actually select this conversion within that campaign. So for right now, I'm not going to select any of these campaigns and I'm just going to click on next step. So now it's going to say, define your conversion tracking method, and it's either manually set up conversions or use a tag manager. I highly recommend using a tag manager. Once you install Google tag manager on your website, you can work with all of your different tags and track your conversions very easily using tag manager. It's not a difficult platform for some of the basic tasks that we need to do as far as tracking our conversions on our website. So let's come back over to our, where we're creating our online conversion. We're going to scroll down here, click on use a tag manager. And what you can do is click on Google tag manager and it will actually pull up this help screen on the right hand side. I'm going to show you how to do this so you don't have to use that help screen. So let's scroll down here. And the very first thing you're going to see is partner ID insight tag ID. Now, before we do this, we need to make sure we have Google tag manager installed on our website. The way that I do this on a WordPress website is with the head footer and post injections plugin. I think it's the best plugin to use to install Google tag manager because it allows us to just add our code directly to our website. So what you want to do is go to your Google tag manager account, 
go to the admin section. You'll also see this prompt if you've just created your Tag Manager account. Go to install Google Tag Manager and you're going to see two pieces of code here. The first one, paste this code as high as possible underneath the opening head tag. The next one, paste this code immediately after the opening body tag. So if we copy this first piece of code, we come back over to the back end of our website. I have installed already the head, footer, and post injections plugin. You can search for this directly from the WordPress plugin store. It's completely free to use. And then we come back over here and we open up this plugin. You can find it by going to settings and going to header and footer and then just paste your Google Tag Manager code right here. You're going to see the head page section injection. Paste that first piece of code right there. The next thing we need to do is go back to Google Tag Manager, copy this piece of code right here, come right back over to our plugin, and we're going to paste it in this section and in this section on the right and click on mobile, scroll to the bottom and click on save. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure we submit our Google Tag Manager workspace. So this is only the first step of installing Google Tag Manager. So click on the X here, go back to your workspace, and then when you're within your workspace, click on Submit over on the right-hand side. You can add a version name and a version description. I've already submitted this, so I'm just gonna put 123, 123, and we will click on Publish. Now once you do that, we have Google Tag Manager installed on our website, and what we wanna do is we're gonna come back over to our workspace. Now when you come back over to your workspace, you're going to see new tag right here. You can also click on tags on the left hand side and add tags that way as well. So let's come back over to our overview here, add a new tag, and the tag that we want to use. Now this is a little bit confusing because when you go to tag configuration and you search LinkedIn insight tag, you're not going to see this 2.01. You have to actually get this in the community template gallery. You're just probably going to see LinkedIn insight. I would recommend using the LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0 and LinkedIn recommends using this tag as well. So if you go to the Community Template Gallery, all you need to do is come right over here to the search bar and type in LinkedIn Insight Tag and you're going to see LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0. So we already have that added to our tags. So we're going to choose the LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0 and what we wanna do is name our tag. So we're just gonna say LinkedIn Insight Tag, okay? And now we're gonna click on our tag configuration again. What you're gonna see right here is partner ID, insight tag ID. Come back over to where we are creating our conversion and you're going to see partner ID right here, insight tag ID. So we're going to copy this code. You can also just click right here. Come back over to Google Tag Manager and paste that code right in this field for your insight tag ID. And then all we're going to do is trigger this on all pages. So basically what we're saying is we wanna place the LinkedIn insight tag on every page on our website. Click on save, and now we can submit our workspace again. So you add a version name and description. So we'll just put LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0, and I put added the LinkedIn Insight Tag to Surfside PPC. So let's click on publish, and this will make sure that we now have that Insight Tag on our website. Let's come back over to our conversion. We are going to keep scrolling down. The next thing we need to do is define our conversion tracking method. And for this example, we are going to be using a page load. So when you are actually trying to track a specific page on your website, that is what you wanna use. Now, when you're doing a button click, what you wanna choose is the event specific. I will go over that as soon as we're done with this one. So let's keep scrolling down and you're going to see page load conversion. Match a URL that, and in my case, I'm just going to put contains, and then we're going to come over to our URL, and I usually just copy from my domain, and then I do whatever the page is. So we just come over here, contains surfsideppc.com slash thank you. So this should not match any other page on my website and anytime someone visits this page, it should track this as a conversion back into our LinkedIn ads account if our LinkedIn ads account actually drove that conversion. So that's the whole point of conversion tracking. We wanna know what our campaign is actually driving for us. So once we finish with this step, all we need to do is come down here and click on create. Now we have created this brand new, you can see thank you page example conversion down here. It's currently unverified because we haven't actually verified this conversion. We will verify it by the end of the video. So don't worry about that. So that's how we create a conversion for every time someone visits a specific page on our website. The next thing that we need to do is we need to track this button right here. So this button has absolutely no meaning on my website. The main thing with tracking a button and the method that I'm going to show you is it's going to track the button based on the text that is showing on your button. So in this case, the text is start your free trial. If we come to the back end of my website, you can see this is my thank you page. You can see right here, it's start your free trial. So I will generally 
copy this text and paste it later on in Google Tag Manager. But let me show you how to actually track this button. Every time someone clicks a button on your website with the text, start your free trial. The reason why I like using this method is because let's just say you have different buttons across your website. Maybe you have a button in the menu up here where it's saying start your free trial, book an appointment, contact us now, whatever it may be, you want to track every time someone is clicking on one of those buttons on your website that says specific text. Whatever your main key performance indicator is, then you can actually track every time someone is clicking that button and taking that next step with your business. So what we are going to do is we're going to come back over to our LinkedIn ads account. We're in the conversion tracking area here again. Under analyze, you'll see conversion tracking. We are going to create a new online conversion. So let's name our conversion. So we will say start your free trial button click. The key conversion we want to track. So let's just say it is a we'll just call this start trial. Keep scrolling down, set the value of this conversion. We'll just set let's say this one's worth $50. Whatever this value of this conversion is, that's what you want to enter there. Select the time frame when the conversion can be counted. We'll do the same thing. We'll make this 90 days. We'll make views 30 days. And then we're going to do last touch for each campaign. So now let's click on the next step and it's going to be slightly different. We're going to click on next step again. I'm not going to choose any campaigns for this one either. So we're going to click on next step. And now we are going to do the sources portion and we are going to use a tag manager again. So we're going to scroll down here. And when we scroll down and click on event specific, it's going to give you slightly different things that you need to do. First off, your partner ID is still up here at the top. That doesn't change. If we scroll down here and we already have this installed on our website. So if you haven't done that already, then I will show you in a minute how to do this again. Just to make sure you have your insight tag ID on every single page that's tracked. So it's tracking everything that's happening on your website. So with event specific, it's going to be slightly different. And what you get is a conversion ID for Google Tag Manager. And then you'll also see this here, insert code to load when action is clicked or email your developer. We're not going to be using this specifically for the Tag Manager example. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to come back over to Google Tag Manager. We're going to come back to our workspace. Now, the first thing, if you haven't installed a LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0 across your entire website, then what you want to do is under new tag here, again, click on tag configuration. You're going to have to go into the community template gallery if you don't have the LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0 already added to your different tags in your Google Tag Manager account. So since we already have the LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0, click on it, enter that partner ID that they showed you earlier. So if we scroll up, this partner ID right here, and then copy that, paste it right here, go to triggering and do that on all pages. So you wanna make sure you're doing that before you're actually setting up this conversion as well. But we're gonna get rid of this for right now. We're gonna come back over to our LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0. And what you wanna do is we wanna first take our partner ID and we are going to come over here and paste that right at the top. Next, we are going to take our conversion ID. So when we come back over to LinkedIn, we scroll down, you'll see conversion ID for Google Tag Manager. So we need to copy this right here, come back over to our Google Tag Manager account and paste our conversion ID. So this is what yours should look like, the LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0. You enter your partner ID here and enter your conversion ID right here. Let's name our tag and I'm just gonna put start your free trial button click. Okay, and now we need to choose when this tag actually fires. So we're gonna click on triggering here and you're not gonna choose all pages for this one. What you're going to do is you're going to click, click on the plus sign right here, click on trigger configuration, and then you're going to go under click and you're going to do all elements. So what you want to do is some clicks and you want to choose if you don't have click text right here, like I do in mine, then what you want to do is go to choose built in variable. And then you're going to see all of these different built in variables. So click text is the one you want to choose right here. And that will pull up that actual built in variable in your drop down menu right here. So let's click on the drop down. We're choosing click text and you could do contains, you can do equals, but what we're going to do is go directly back to the back end of our website, copy this text, start your free trial, come back over to our Google tag manager, click text contains, start your free trial. So now basically what we're saying, so let's name our trigger. Okay. So I'll just do click text, start your free trial. We'll click on save. And now basically what we're saying is, we want you to actually track this conversion ID every time someone clicks on any link on our website where the text in the link is start your free trial. So you'll see if we come back over here, this is just your standard A tag. The only reason it looks like a button is I have class equals my button and there's some CSS behind the scenes. So you can easily do this. 
using an A tag, if you're just linking out any page on your website, any page on an external website, every time someone clicks on a link that contains this text right here, it's going to track this as a trigger in your Google Tag Manager account. Now, if somebody clicks on your LinkedIn advertisement and then comes over to your button, so over here, they click on your LinkedIn ad, they go to some page where you have a start your free trial button, they click on this button, it will fire that as a conversion back in your LinkedIn ads account. So let's come back over here to our Google Tag Manager account, and what we need to do is save this new tag that we just added to our website. So now you should have the insight tag added on every page on your website, and then you should also have the insight tag added to track this conversion. So we'll click on submit, we can add our name and description. Okay, so I've named mine, added a description, and we will click on publish. So now the next thing that we need to do is go back into our LinkedIn ads account and create this. So just click on create, and now you'll see we have your start your free trial button click as a new conversion in our LinkedIn ads account. So what you can do to make sure that this is actually firing properly within Google Tag Manager is we click on the X again, we're gonna come back to our workspace, and what we can do is we can click on preview. After we click on preview, you wanna to go to a page where your button is located. If it's located on every single page, that's fine. So right now I'm gonna to go to my thank you page and click on connect. So if we scroll down here on our thank you page, you can see our button right here. So before I click it, what I'm gonna show you is through your LinkedIn Tag Manager account, you could use what's called Tag Assistant. So within Tag Assistant, you can see all of the different tags that have fired here. So we have all of these different tags have fired right now, but the one that hasn't fired yet is start your free trial button click. So what we wanna do is we wanna come back over to the page where we are have our Tag Assistant connected and click on this button. Once we click on this button, we come back over here, you're gonna see this LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0 fired one time. So that means it is tracking properly. This was able to actually track that somebody clicked on a button on our website that had the text, start your free trial. So it fired one time. If I click it again, it'll say fired two times. So this is how you can track that it's actually working properly on your website. And now what you can do is within your LinkedIn ads account, when you're creating a new campaign, so coming over here to advertise, and let's just say you're creating a new campaign, so we'll choose this campaign group, that's fine, we'll click on next, and then what you wanna do is we're gonna choose website conversions right here. Within website conversions, you set your audience, you can set your advertisements, keep scrolling down, and what you're going to see towards the bottom is conversion tracking, and you'll see it'll choose some of the different conversions here, but what you wanna do is select whatever conversions you're optimizing for. So in this case, let's just say I'm optimizing for my start your free trial button click. So now we have this conversion that we're optimizing for, Right now it's unverified, so we do need to actually verify that this conversion is working, but it should be working in no time. So you're ready to actually create your campaign and actually optimize for this conversion within your campaign. So before we launch this campaign, let's come back to our account. So we're just gonna exit without saving. Now, if I come back over to my thank you page and I refresh the page, which I've done already, I click my button, which I've done already, after we've installed everything, what you should see when you come back over to your LinkedIn ads account and you refresh this page, to your conversion tracking page, you should see these as active. So you can see these are both working right now. These are both active conversions. So we should be able to track these properly within our campaign. So hopefully this video has been helpful. If you're trying to set up LinkedIn ads conversion tracking, it may take several minutes for these to go from unverified to active. So give it at least a half hour, give it some time. You may need to clear your cache for your website. You need, may need to do a few different things to make sure these are working properly. But as you can see now, we have both of these working. So if you have any questions about LinkedIn ads conversion tracking, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.